Hey everyone, I hope that uh, you all are able to hear me properly. Uh, my name is Sai Kiran and I am uh, the person who will be teaching you uh, first, I mean like data science, data science basics and all. Okay, so what is your name? From where are you joining? So please tell me, I'm opening up the chat. Just give me one minute, I hope. Yes, I can hear you all properly. So tell me everyone. So hi, 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 hi. My name is Sai Kiran and uh, I am based out of Mumbai. And I am going to be your teacher for next five days or six days. Tomorrow there is no class. I mean today, then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you will be with me learning data analysis with python okay hey everyone my name is sai kiran how are you all please tell me in the chat so number one thing write down what is your name what are you studying or where are you working and from which location you are joining in so these three things one two three okay number one thing what is your name number two is like from where are you joining and number three is like what is that you're studying or uh, pursuing a job so these three things please fada fad said tell me in the chat okay so md muksad muksad from mumbai okay but what do you do tell me that uh, hari haran is from hari from coimbatore okay atharva from mumbai then i have got gunjan from uh, uh, gunjan dikshit fine uh, who all do i have i have rupesh fine i have uh, Gunjan is an engineering graduate. Amazing. You have done with your engineering or you yet? Abhi bhi engineering chal raha hai. Okay, please tell me that thing in the chat. Uh, Arambh Tiwari is from lovely professional university. Okay, Rohan is from Hyderabad. Uh, B.Tech, CSE. Which year? I, I uh, don't know. So, please tell me in the chat. Uh, then I have got Suhani. Suhani from Nagpur doing B.Tech second year. Okay, Ravi Rathod from Pune studying BE. Then I have got Vikas Sahu from uh, BCA completed. Okay, he has completed BCA. Pooja, uh, uh, what is she doing? Don't know. Usne bataya nahi hai. Baki, Triti from Baroda second year IT engineering from SVIT Vasad. Okay. Uh, okay, what else? What else? What else? Who else I have? I have got 250 students right now. Hi everyone. My name is Sai Kiran. Okay, S A I K I R A N. Um, what all things I have done, I'll tell you right now. So I have studied my B Tech, Bachelor's of Technology from ITM. Uh, I've graduated in the year 2018. Uh, prior graduating, I was uh, a very good at uh, competitions, hackathons, and all. I have till date won more than 30 plus hackathons okay uh, and participated in a lots of hackathons and competitions um, i don't know how many of you know what is a hackathon so please tell me in the chat do you know about hackathon yes or no kya aapko hackathon ke bare mein pata hai to please chat mein batao fada fad okay so uh, before going into hackathons i was an android developer uh started developing android applications way back in my first year launched two three applications in my first year of college then uh, uh, hackathons pm modi sir hackathons india representation hackathons lot of hackathons post that uh, um, uh, worked for two companies primarily two big companies one is reliance the other one is yo bikes electric bike manufacturing company Post that I have joined uh, uh, ITM, then post that I have started my own startup that is named as Let's Upgrade. And I am the CEO, I am the founder of Let's Upgrade, who, uh, who love teaching. I My, my job is that yaar, whatever you do, teach the best of the best uh, uh, way to all the students. That's about me. Uh, you can call me your big, bro big brother or elder brother or like your sir, whatever you want. My name is Sai. Uh, uh, and five days I would love to be your teacher okay that's about my introduction currently I am joining from my office that is in Mumbai to be precise Navi Mumbai Vashi and uh, uh, that's it guys that's it that's all about myself okay anything else any other questions that you have that you have please tell me in the chat 
राइट नाउ साई कैसे हैं आप मैं बहुत अच्छा हूँ बस मेरा गला ठीक नहीं है सो आई समाइम्स आई मे गो अ करके बट इट इज़ फाइन ओके नाउ I don't know how many of you. Uh, I have been. I I used to teach on Let's Upgrade YouTube channel very regularly in the year two thousand twenty 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 one twenty twenty one. Okay, two years. Now this year I am teaching after so long. Okay, so this is my class after uh, I think three four months or something. Now I am very busy running my engineering program, offline engineering program in Nai Mumbai. That's what is all about me. फाइन सो so, मैं आपके बारे में अभी थोड़ा जानता हूँ आई नो अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट यू यू गैज नो अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट मी नाउ सो लेट्स गेट टू द एजेंडा द एजेंडा इज लर्निंग डेटा एनालिसिस नाउ फर्स्ट एंड फोरमोस्ट थिंग फर्स्ट एंड फोरमोस्ट थिंग गिव मी वन रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेयर ओके बिफोर इवन गोइंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन ओके first we will understand why should we learn data analysis okay and then what we need to learn in data analysis and how will we implement it towards the end of it okay uh, these three things we will learn in this particular class number 1 why data analysis number 2 how or like what that we are going to do in this data analysis thing and number 3 is like how will we implement it towards the end of the program okay so uh number one thing to understand why we should learn data analysis first answer me give me one real time example ek real world example do give me one real world example of where data analysis is being used give me one real time example okay uh, so please tell me that in the chat fadafat se give me that fadafat just go ahead give me give me one answer quickly whatever whatever the best you can think asap then rest i will give you an answer so i have got uh, jewel uh, answering uh, weather forecasting kiran answering youtube okay then uh, madhav raza answering flipkart then price prediction by sanjuf okay then i have got online app stock market cricket analysis or oh, jyotika has mentioned cricket analysis i think she is a cricket fan uh, then i have got rahul teja mentioning netflix uh, uh then afterwards uh, i have got ml machine learning is there cancer prediction is there very good abhav abhrav okay and business profits okay big billion day sales wow amazing i'm loving it ane do answers ane do i need you all guys to spam the chat fada fada just go ahead every one of you uh, companies overall data prediction fine then uh, ads okay wow amazing uh, uh then i have got music recommendation movie recommendation good 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 then afterwards target sales loan okay loan is also very good thing then what are what else like i have got credit card uh, big data big data prediction is okay but what in big data that you want to predict please tell me spotify is a good example okay now i have got enough of the examples from each one of you that have mentioned to me ki uh, these are the examples of data analysis now one step at a time we will go first and foremost thing i want every one of you to make a promise to me ओके okay? एक छोटा सा प्रॉमिस करना है सबको कि हाँ हम लोग वी गाइस विल वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम कंसिस्टेंटली ओके वी एट लेट्स ग्रेड आर मेकिंग श्योर दैट वी कम टीच यू सर्टन वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक्स इन अ वेरी इजी मैनर ओके वेरी इजी मैनर यू मे नो पाइथन यू मे नॉट नो पाइथन बट आई विल टीच यू पाइथन okay you may know data analysis certain libraries you may not know it but i will teach you that so everything will go from basics 1 2 3 4 5 you will learn like little literally you may not know certain concepts right now but towards the end of it you will you will gather so much that you can go 
तो ये मॉम डैड्स एल्डर सिस्टर ब्रदर यंगर सिस्टर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली मेंबर्स कि यार आई नो व्हाट इज देयर इन डेटा एनालिसिस एट लीस्ट द बेसिक्स ओके क्लियर डिड आई डिड आई डिड आई गिव यू वेरी क्लियरली व्हाई यू शुड अटेंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम इट इज जस्ट फाइव डेज ईच डे वर एंड हाफ आवर टूडे देन वेनेसडे थर्सडे फ्राइडे सैटरडे आर वी क्लियर sorted can you promise me this thing okay pinky promise done can i go ahead please tell me yaar i need lots of yes coming into the chat then only i would like to uh, take it to the next level okay i'm waiting for you all uh, we guys learn this programming is a consistent manner uh, uh, manner promise done nice please tell me who who to use who to use this in macbook how to use this in macbook okay fine i am going to use a macbook uh, for myself that doesn't mean you have to be scared of anything main aap logon ko bahut acche se dheere dheere aaram aaram se samjha samjha ke leke jaunga theek hai you can use a windows machine linux machine even your mobile phone whatever it is end of the day but you will be learning it clear sorted my way of teaching is like i break down concepts into tak 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 and i go till the depth of it then i'll explain you then i'll go ahead that's my way of explaining so please make sure sometimes you may feel that ki this guy is going very slow so uh, ignore that thing fine enough of uh, 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 the way how we will learn and everything also done now the next step is how to register if you have not yet registered on this particular program so let me tell you how to register in the description you will find the link for registration just go ahead register yourself after registering okay after registering you will you will get a, a, a link where you will see all, this particular program listed okay in that particular program where it is listed um, you just have to go and mark your attendance it's very easy thing you no know rocket science i will show you also just give me one minute i'm transitioning my screen can you see my screen guys every one of you step by step process to com uh, complete the program first and foremost thing go to letsupgrade.in okay uh, here you have sign up and all once your sign up is done then you will uh, uh then you will uh, uh, get select the program you want to enroll in once you are done with the uh, enrollment part once you are done with the enrollment part uh uh kahan pe you will see a screen like this okay python programming essentials and all once you are done with this python programming essentials wala part you just have to uh you can join our whatsapp or telegram buttons there is an option uh you can uh, uh, see where to uh, get a uh, uh, like join our whatsapp or telegram and uh, while you are scrolling down you will get an option to mark your attendance okay every day this uh, uh, button will be there i mark your attendance mark your attendance in the portal itself clear okay clear ho gaya every day you just have to go to this page and mark your attendance that link is also there in the description done maybe you do it after the uh, this this now after you complete certain percentage after 5 days you will get an option to download your certificate clear after 5 days you will get an option to download your certificate you can download this certificate and show it in your resume very nicely this certificate is by itm group of institutions gdg mad now what is gdg mad google developer group uh, mumbai that is known as gdg mad so uh, you will have that person also giving you a certificate and the nsdc that is national skill development corporation that is also giving you a certificate with a unique certificate number so you can download your certificate after 5 days of this program completion are we clear and we have to build project on wednesday on uh, thursday friday saturday all 5 days we will be building small small projects here and there okay are we clear sorted done please tell me in the chat yaar every one of you are we done can we go ahead now you guys know how to uh, process step by step marking attendance and submitting everything is uh, there in the document that is been shared 
in your chat. Sir, please use mic of you if you have. Okay. Uh, uh, I will use mic and all uh, post. Uh, I, I need to configure here. I mean, it will take some time. So better it is that I, I do it in the next class. I will try to shout as much as possible. Okay. So today, in this five days, what is there as our agenda? Okay. Our agenda for the next five days is like introduction to data analysis. Okay. Importance of applications, importance and applications of data analysis. Uh, what is the data analysis process? What is Python? In, uh, for, we need to download Python, set up Python or like use Google Collab for Python. Uh, do variable data types operators in Python, control structures in Python, functions and modules in Python. Then a mini project, a basic calculator it is saying, we may do more than a basic calculator. Okay, fine. Then afterwards, introduction to pandas, this will uh, take place. So today we will complete till here. Okay, today we will complete this much. Tomorrow we will, uh, so tomorrow, no, day after tomorrow, we will complete Wednesday. We will complete uh, this much. Thursday we will complete this much. Friday we will complete uh, this much data cleaning, the data cleaning entire. And Saturday we will complete. Uh, did I miss on anything? No. Uh, wait. One, two, three. Four, hi yes. So this is Thursday entire. This is Friday entire, and this is Saturday entire. Are we clear? Done. Okay. Sorted. Is my voice super low? Am I, am I not audible at all? I am just trying to make it maximum. Uh, I am not at all audible. Uh, I don't know what else I can do to. Okay. Clear. Okay. Now, first and foremost thing, okay, first and foremost thing, let's just talk about it and we will get this thing completed. What is, what is the importance, what is the importance of application, like importance and applications of data analysis? We just started talking about what is the importance of data uh, analysis. But before we go and we'll just cover these two topics in 10 minutes. Just give me 10 minutes, we'll be done with this. Okay, 10 minutes, you all will be done with understanding why we need data analysis and what is the process of data analysis. Are we clear? Done? Sorted? Okay, so number one thing, the number one thing that you all need to have very, very clear in India, how many people are there? So let's start from there. Okay, we'll take a story of India and then we will go global. So how many people are there in India? What is the population of India? Let's just go Google it around and give me the answer. Give me the answer. Fada fat. Give me the answer. What? How many people are there in uh, uh, India? And uh, give me the answer. Okay. 1.4 billion or 1.5 billion something okay these are data analysis teacher notes okay how many people are there in india so the answer that a uh, few of you guys gave 1.4 billion that means 140 crore am i right okay similar to 140 crore plus now how many of how many of these are having access to mobile slash pc slash some computing tell me that how many of these are having access to mobile phone a pc or a mobile computing so please tell me in the chat uh, how many of these are having, uh, what do you think, out of 140 crore, how many of them are having access to uh, a PC or 
मोबाइल फ़ोन और सम कंप्यूटिंग सो प्लीज़ टेल मी इन द चैट लेट से लेट से फोर्टी क्रोर्स फोर्टी क्रोर्स इज ऑल्सो अ बिग नंबर यार बट टेल मी ना टेल मी जस्ट गूगल इट आउट गूगल इट आउट राइट ना फटाफट गो आ हेड आंसर मी आई ऑल्सो डोंट नो हाउ मेनी हाउ लेट्स एंड आस्क गूगल हाउ मेनी पीपल इन इंडिया हैव एक्सेस टू मोबाइल फोन ओके वॉट आउट ऑफ इंडियाज डिजिटल जर्नी अरे भाई साहब ये कुछ भी बोल रहा है क्या इंटरनेट पॉपुलेशन एट ओके शेट वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर यूजर्स एक्सेस द इंटरनेट वाया मोबाइल फोन दीज मैनी पीपल हैव एक्सेस टू मोबाइल फोन वाओ इट इज शॉकिंग राइट इट इज सच अ शॉकिंग थिंग सी स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज सेंग दैट इंडियाज डिजिटल जर्नी इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट इंटरनेट पॉपुलेशन एस्टिमेट्स वाओ फाइन ठीक है लेट्स कंसिडर वन बिलियन पीपल आर हैविंग डेटा लेट्स कंसिडर लेट्स कंसिडर आई डोंट नो विच थिंग इज राइट इज इट सेवन फिफ्टी मिलियन और इज इट वन बिलियन और इज इट हाउ मच आई डोंट नो लेट्स कंसिडर लेट्स कंसिडर सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ वन फोर्टी करोर दैट इज हंड्रेड करोर हंड्रेड करोर पीपल आर हैविंग एक्सेस टू मोबाइल फोन ऑल ऑफ दैम आर जनरेटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ डिजिटल फुटप्रिंट एग्री Yes or no? Please tell me in the uh, chat. Okay, please tell me in the chat. How many? Uh, uh, every one of them are generating some or other digital footprint. Let's say hundred crore have access to a mobile and uh, internet. Okay, every one. Uh, generating uh generating uh, everyone generating digital footprint yes okay everyone generating digital footprint right yes so now if every one of them is generating digital footprint i think this number is very big this should be less than your 40 crore or 50 crore i will i will just uh, make it like 50 crore 50 crore is also a very big number and if it is 100 crore i mean i need to break my head but i don't know i don't know so you guys tell me tomorrow okay you guys tell me tomorrow if it is uh, 50 crore 100 crore or how much i am assuming it should be less than 50 crore uh, but yeah so uh, 50 crore are having mobile and internet access everyone is generating some or other digital footprint yes yes or no so yes or no so please tell me in the chat digital footprint means are they using internet are they surfing google.com and uh, uh, they are shopping online what are they doing are they doing something so yes or no yes or no so please tell me in the chat fada fada go ahead if the answer is yes each one of them is generating some or other digital footprint then that data can be used to take insights that data can be used to get insights that which customer is going to buy what thing are we clear which customer is going to buy what thing are we clear okay so digital footprint analyzing uh, digital foot print we can understand which customer or which user will buy what this is one such thing but there are various other stuff not only buying there are things like which user will use what kind of product for example you also need to know there is something else known as india one india 2 india 3 okay i'll show you an image about india 1 india 2 india 3 okay this is one uh, tweet where uh, 
India 1, India 2, India 3 is being uh, discussed. Now, what is India 1, India 2, India 3? Now, very interesting concept. Very interesting concept. Okay. Uh, very interesting concept. The concept says, in India, let's say 2021, only 10 crore people, only 10 crore people make the economy of 1.3 trillion dollar. Are you seeing this? India one is richest, rich, rich, rich people. These 10 crore people are responsible for 1.3 trillion dollar GDP. India two, that is again, let's say uh, more 10 crore people are responsible for 250 billion. Okay, 250 billion. Now India three, that is 1,150 million. That means 115 crore people are responsible for 1 trillion GDP again. That means what? That means what? So many people, 100, 100, 100 crore people are responsible for 1 trillion here. And the same here, 10 crore people or like 11.5 crore people are responsible for 1.3 trillion dollar GDP. This is unfair, right? Yes or no? These people here in India 1 have the purchase power of, each person has the purchase power of what uh, here 10 people have together. You agree? Were you able to understand this entire India 1, India 2, India 3? Yes or no? Please tell me in the chat. Am I going uh, uh, very much uh, uh, detailed or am I becoming boring? So what? Tell me, give me the feedback. Yes or no? Samaj me aya nahi samaj aya. I know Telugu, I know Hindi, I know Tamil, I know English, Gujarati. Which language I can I can teach you in... Okay, uh, how many of you are Hindi here? How many of you are Hindi in the chat? So please tell me in the Hindi. Do you have a problem if I just explain this one concept in Hindi? I don't think, right? Uh, India mein 140 crore people hai. Thik hai? 140 crore people or India ka GDP kitna hai? India ka GDP hai 3 se 4 trillion dollar ke beech mein jhul raha hai. Okay? 3 se 4 trillion dollar. Uh, India's GDP is swinging in between 3 trillion dollar to 4 trillion dollar. We are somewhere in between. Okay? Now out of, let's, let's say, uh, we just consider 3 trillion dollar. Out of 3 trillion dollar, 1 trillion dollar, the 1 trillion dollar economy. Economy means I can have the purchase power. Purchase power relies in India 3 means these people are earning 1 trillion dollar jitna GDP. That is 1, 115 crore people together are doing 1 trillion dollar. That is India 3. India 2 may 95 uh, million people are doing 250 billion dollar ka GDP. Now in India 1, jo bas 10 crore log hai, only 10 crore people are making a big owning, owning a large sum. These people are owning a large sum of money. That is 1.3 trillion dollar. Okay, yahan pe only 1 trillion dollar tha. Here it was only 1 trillion dollar. Here it is 1.3 trillion dollar. Here it is uh, 115 million people. Here it is 1,150 million people. What is 1 million? 1 million is equal to 10 lakh. Okay. If you convert it, this becomes 115 crore. This becomes 11 crore. 11.5 crore. Kitna bada disparity, right? There is a huge disparity. Yes or no? So please tell me in the chat. Did you guys understand now? Did you guys understand now? Ardhamainda, uh, please tell me in the chat. Okay. So, uh, I, I hope you guys are clear. Now, with this kind of data, with this kind of data, okay, with this kind of uh, economic data, okay, where India 1, India 2, and India 3 are three segments are three segments are having a huge economic difference then data analysis becomes 
very very important okay done now you guys know what is india 1 india 2 india 3 you guys know right what is india 1 india 2 india 3 uh, samajh gaya na Your, yes or no if you have learned india 1 india 2 india 3 i will be the happiest person alive right now because teaching 500 people together who are just in their engineering india 1 india 2 india 3 and so that they can think about their own startups or their own interviews like india 1 india 2 india 3 their own products when you build a product or when you build a project think of who is your consumer is it going to be a premium thing or is it going to be a volume thing okay so all you guys engineers if you have understood what is india one india two india three i'll be the super happiest okay you all guys please explain it again in the chat i will give a shout out to the bestest of explanations right now before this class ends okay explain it properly what is india one india two india three okay now economic data is one such data okay now second data is you have got let's say you have uh, you are you are building okay you are building a product one last example then we will get to python okay one last example then we will get to python programming every one of you has mentioned cricket cricket as an example okay cricket as an example uh, for data analysis why we should do this analysis and all if our team today is performing the way how it is performing they are just winning 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 just with one odds here and there but they are winning a lot how they are winning that much they have got sports data analysis person with them who do lots of data analysis for them okay, like which player is playing which kind of a ball okay and which player finds it difficult to play certain types of balls okay which player is uh, 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 afraid of certain ballers in it from india or certain types of ballers from like any country and who is the best baller in that segment which we have okay so these are certain questions these are certain questions which need to be answered for our sports captains let's say cricket that is rohit sharma for rohit sharma to understand on the go in real time Achha, yaar, which player if this player is batting which player should ball or if this player is balling then which player should go next next on field so these kind of decisions are derived by data analysis understood if you just see if you just think that Rohit Sharma is having his gut feeling and only his gut feeling is driving the entire show okay then you are wrong my friend Rohit Sharma sir is there he is doing it amazingly great amazing but apart from that gut feeling there is a team of data analysts who are working along with uh, the team itself they also travel they also give their insights how you should play what you should play what you should aim for okay so uh, so that is the part i mean do you guys uh, have you guys got this entire example of data analysis where data analysis is there and now to be generic thoda sa generic hone ke liye data analysis na each and every team let it be a small startup let it be a big corporate or let it be government itself every one of them are using it every one of them are using it to understand their business operations very clearly and take certain decisions efficiently are we clear why you need to know data analysis are we sorted okay are we sorted uh fine now amazing edits is the person who has answered about india one india two india three we will just recap it then we will go ahead in india uh, one there was less population but their earning was very very high in india three the population was very high but the earning was considerably very less in india two it was average average okay so that is the answer which i got one good the second answer is 
uh, second uh, answer that I have I don't have any other answers and many of you guys are saying that OTP issue OTP issue OTP issue uh, I am so sorry that you guys are getting OTP issues I will solve it by Wednesday I'll ask my uh, I'll ask my uh, tech team to resolve this OTP issue don't worry if you are not able to get that uh, OTP and generate your certificate you will be able to do that thing uh, uh, Wednesday okay Wednesday every one of you will come to learn about data science as uh, so a data analysis right that's it now let's get into action okay let's get into action Python now why Python why Python programming language why Python programming language why Python for, for data analysis why the hell Python programming language tell me tell me that in the in the chat Tell me in the chat why why uh, uh, why the hell it is uh, uh, Python programming language. The reason behind the employment unemployment or job the reason behind unemployment. Kya hai samaj nahi hai. Tirth Patel, please tell me your question again. Okay, uh, good. Rohan pa Rohan has answered. Syntax is friendly. Okay. Uh, my journey with uh, yoga is saying less code uh, because of library uh, it is object oriented programming language for quick analysis python is easy to learn it can be used in variety of ways easy to learn expressive easy to learn easy to learn easy to learn okay how many of you have already learned python tell me that how many of you have learned python tell me that Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, everyone of you. Uh, uh, I need more answers coming in, guys. Please tell me. How many of you have learned Python already and are very good with uh, the basics? Okay, so let me raise a poll right now. Just give me one minute. Let me raise a poll. Okay, I'll raise a poll in the chat to understand. Uh, uh, start a poll. Good at Python. I have started a poll. Answer it quickly. Go ahead. Answer it quickly. Jaldi jaldi answer do. Uh, I have answered yes. Okay. Because I am good at uh, Python. I am building a uh, uh, few product, projects, lots of things. Okay. So this, question, this, this thing will help me understand how many of you are good with Python and how many of you are not good with Python. And accordingly, we will take it to the next level. Okay. So... I have already got 200. Uh, I'll tell you the reason why Python is used for data analysis. Three reasons as per me. These are my reasons. Okay. Number one reason is that it's very easy to learn. Okay. It is. Uh, uh, it has got lots of libraries. Okay. It, ha it is. It is very. Uh, what we say expressive syntax you can you can read the sentence and syntax and you can understand okay these are the three fine apart from that one more reason why data uh, analysis is uh, growing in python is because python is such a easy language the person who is not from coding background also can learn python and the person who is good at running a business or taking understanding business is not a programmer okay the person who is running a business or understanding the core of business is not a programmer are we clear done that person is not a programmer wo it se nikal ke nahi now probably because itne sare engineers hain uh, but uh, uh, it is the reason that so many people are from non-IT who build good businesses that's what uh, 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 or else like they are the analysts they are into the business operations now so many people are in operations who are not programmers for them to learn Python is very easy and after learning Python the things that you can't achieve in a Google sheet or an Excel sheet after a certain point of time that you can easily achieve using python 
clear done so these are my two major reasons why python is the programming language for data analysis are we clear done uh, uh, what are the five reasons that we summed up uh, easy to learn syntax syntax is x okay syntax is expressive huge amount of libraries okay and my two reasons are uh, easy for a non programmer to learn and the second reason why uh, uh, the second reason why is like where excel or google sheet is stuck there python can be handy got it done so these are my five reasons but i have the reasons why uh, python is the python for us okay so let's get started i have this ppt let me open this ppt the who is the person behind python you should know this thing very clearly in your dream also even if i come to your home at night 2 am you should know this uh goodo van rossum goodo van rossum 1991 he is the person who has actually developed python and uh, sorry introduced python to every one of us okay goodo van rossum g v r okay who is the person g v r g v r g v r okay uh then java was released in 1995 by sun microsystems okay but java got 3 billion devices quickly but python was released in 1991 still python didn't become famous until 2006 why what is the reason what is the reason what is the reason why 1995 java came sun by Mi sun microsystems and 1991 python was introduced python being easy still python didn't get popular why what is the reason batao jaldi batao I need your answer, Fada Fadi. Are every one of you? Please give me the answers. I am looking forward to it. Uh, uh, okay, Gyani Gyani person has mentioned it was backed by Sun Microsystems, but Python was not backed by any big organization. It was just built by certain developers, and the trust or credibility that Sun Microsystem bring as a sub support system was not there with GVR. are we clear every one of you every one of you are we clear every one of you are you clear so please tell me in the chat right now okay uh, please tell me in the chat right now yes can i go ahead okay okay now why in 2006 it became popular why in 2006 python became popular there has to be some company which has come uh, uh, to just back like sun microsystems was backing up java the same way uh, in 2006 some company might have stepped forward to back up python yes python ko kisne back up kiya batao with name the company which has backed up the first person i'll give a shout out right now just go ahead fast uh my journey with yoga what's your uh, real name bro you have uh, answered it first uh this person is uh, my journey with yoga google adapted it yes and abdul rahman is the second person who has said about google is the company which has backed python you are right google is the company which has backed up uh, python and that is the reason uh, uh uh we are seeing python became popular what are the advantages developers can learn it quickly Uh, typically involves less amount of code if java involves so much code python involves very less amount of code and uh, syntax is easier to read like see this is the syntax x is equal to 1 if x greater than 0 print this see how easily even we are able to learn it utilized by every major technology giant like google and various other companies huge amount of additional open source libraries now what do you mean by libraries can you answer it in the chat right now can you answer it in the chat right now today go ahead fast okay how to write our first line of code uh, uh, i will just uh, go ahead okay how to write 
first line of code this is the thing in python see 58 percent of you guys have said that you all know python 42 percent of you have said you don't know python for the people who don't know python i may go very fast for you i may go super fast for you but for the people uh, who already know python i may go super slow for you so please balance i'm only going to talk about python till wednesday eod then thursday we are all going to talk about data analysis but make sure that you are attending make sure that you are attending this class because i will cover certain hidden topics here and there that will be interesting to you are we clear sorted are you with me please tell me in the chat let me dismiss this particular uh, 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 what we say poll and let's go ahead end this particular poll okay now again back to transition okay so for writing the first line of code in python you can install install it on uh, your windows or mac or linux okay or this is one way okay uh, install it from python.org on these uh, uh, install it from uh, download and install download and install it from python.org let's go to python.org python.org has got uh, these uh, flavors you can download uh, of i am i'm downloading it for mac os so this will download it for mac os and then i can install it but i have already installed it here this is one way what is the other way the other way is so the other way that is like use online compiler okay online compilers like let's write it now, online compiler for running python there are many there are there is something known as ripple uh, where is ripple uh, ripple ripple it what is that ripple program okay uh ideas to software ripple it.com so let me just promote ripple it ripple ripple here uh ripple then there is one more thing that is like use online okay online notebook uh environment E N V I R O environment uh, like Google Colab. Now, what is the these three types? What is the difference between these three? One, two, and three. Tell me that first. Like fatafat, just tell me that thing in the chat right now. The first way is download and install it from python.org, and then you can use a dedicated IDE like PyCharm okay or else uh, uh, a text editor okay a text editor like uh, visual studio code or else uh, uh, you can uh, directly use notebook environment notebook like jupyter j y p u t r jupyter notebook what is the difference between these three IDE, text editor and notebook environment? I want you to know, I want you to know this very clearly before you go ahead. Okay. IDE means, IDE means, IDE means what? Integrated development environment. Okay. Integrated development environment where you are, that software is there just for Python. Okay. The second is text editor. The, in this kind of software you can run probably you can you can code for any language any language literally any language notebook environment is where it is good for learning anything okay what is this online compilers like ripple it online compiler slash ides okay uh, ripple it is a, a, a ide integrated development environment which is hosted on cloud which gives you access to code python there okay this is second you can use it on your mobile phone also 
the third one is if you want if you want a notebook environment you can go for an online notebook environment that is google collab i will be using google collab okay what i'll be using write it down in the chat what i'll be using please tell me in the chat what i'm going to use okay please tell me in the chat what i'm going to use google collab now why i'm going to use google collab google collab can be accessed via your browser uh, on a mobile phone on a tablet on a pc on a laptop wherever you are are we clear that is the reason i am going to use google collab okay so i am opening up google collab uh fine collab.google oh new notebook okay oh 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 oh, oh. sorry Google Collab is a hosted, okay, before we go there, what is Google Collab? Google Collab is a hosted Jupyter Notebook service that requires no setup to use, okay, that provides free access. Uh, for Collab is especially well suited to learn machine learning, data science and education. So we guys are in this three, okay, for us, what is the best? This is the best, okay, clear, done any uh, everyone clear everyone clear sorted so please tell me in the chat everyone please tell me in the chat if you guys are clear oh i've been shouting continuously and i'm like okay okay fine so uh, uh google collab is especially suited for machine learning and all now here this is google collab let me zoom it out for you all i hope you all are able to see this properly now so here is the name of the file. Let me name the file as uh, data e n a l y s i s essentials. Okay, data uh, uh, analysis essentials. Now in this data analysis essentials, uh, you have got this one line. In this one line, you can write a code or you can uh, you can write a code. And here in the between, you will be able to see the output. And you can also have a textual uh, thing to take your notes. Okay. How many of you are already uh, familiar with Google Collab? So please tell me in the chat. Let me raise a poll. Fata fat se. Uh, already knows okay so please tell me in the chat uh, in the poll yes or no okay so let's write down our uh, few lines of code where till where we have to reach uh, let me see this notes okay we have to come down till here okay we have got 40 minutes let's go at a blazing fast speed okay and uh, finish these two things for effort then uh, we will uh, uh, go to functions, modules, and uh, create a simple project Wednesday. Okay, so we have to complete till here. Now, to all my friends out there, programming is the super easy thing that you can learn anytime. You don't have to complicate your life by thinking that, Ki, yaar, what am I doing? My programming is working. Yes or no? What is happening? Yes, sab kabi nahi sochne ka. Okay? You don't have to think about all these things ever, 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 ever. All you have to do is like get that clarity. Programming is just talking to your computer to get things done. Okay? So our first today's target is to store our data in computer and then use that data to manipulate uh, a man like to perform certain operations and get the output okay what is our today's agenda write it down in the chat okay write it down in the chat today's agenda using uh, programming is basically to store certain data retrieve that data and uh, perform certain operations and show the output that's it if you do this much you are done you are done with programming okay you are at least two levels above okay uh, 
hey guys can you please uh, and see why my sound is low because few, many of you guys are complaining sir your sound is low sound is low sound is low can you guys actually tell me that if my sound is actually low or like what what is it okay uh, what's the agenda today to store the data retrieve the data and perform certain task how can we store the data so uh, to storing a data we need a container okay we need a container container like this bottle where we have stored liquid and a container like uh, uh, this mobile phone it's a this cover this cover is a basic uh, uh, what we say it's a hard case okay it's a it's a thing for like storing hard object and then uh, we have gas also gas is one more uh, uh, form of object which is uh, stored in cylinders so three different types of container are there to store three different types of objects solid state liquid state and gas gaseous state clear done okay okay fine to store three different things we have got three different containers the same way to store multiple things we have got multiple uh, data types so let's learn about data types i need a heading here first mm, heading data types okay in this my primary data type my primary data type my primary data type is a whole number is a whole number my secondary one more data type is a decimal number then i have a word then i have a yes or a no so these are the four things which i need to store okay these are the four things which i need to uh, uh, store okay so number one let, let's store integer so before storing integer i would like to make a comment here okay i hope every one of you know what is a comment okay comment is something which will not do anything okay which will just be ignored even if you write it is connecting to a virtual machine right now see here it is connecting to a virtual machine and then it will uh, come back in a some time just give me one uh, uh, it takes it has connected so now yeah even if you run this it will it will be ignored comments are ignored comments are for human beings to understand what the code is comment is used to understand what the particular code is because after you writing a piece of code if you see the same code after two three months you will not understand to make sure that you are able to recall okay why you have coded what whenever you are coding that's where this comments are being introduced in programming language okay clear clear with commenting so please tell me in the chat for effort every one of you are you are you very clear about commenting so please tell me in the chat yes or a no okay so uh, now a is equal to 10 now this a is equal to 10 a is a variable okay of a container that is integer storing data that is 10 that means what is ka matlab kya hai? hey to all my friends who already know the basics of python i just want you to bear with me for five minutes okay just be with me for five minutes for the people who don't know it okay for the 47 percent of the people who 42 percent of the people who don't know it for them i'm explaining a is a variable name just like let's take an example uh, here mayank 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 is a name of a person mayank is a boy okay mayank is a boy okay human being mayank is a human being the container is human being okay the container copy is individual and that individual name is mayank mayank is the name mayank is a container that is human being okay now mayank has certain values value system mayank agrawal has certain value systems that is like hey if i how i will greet my elders how i may perform in my exam those all attributes are the value systems of mayank so three things are you clear the same way a is the name of this particular container what is the container type container type is integer which stores what it stores whole number 
what is the whole number that it has stored it is stored 10 clear are you clear mera example sahi mein samajh aaya yes or no uh, 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 okay uh, uh, are you guys clear are you guys clear about this thing what i just gave you about mayank hi and i are batao yaar are you guys clear about it i is python case sensitive yes it's case sensitive it is case sensitive i can store in small a 10 and in uh, capital a 11 so if i do small a 10 will come if i do uh, capital a uh, 11 will come okay so i have solved your particular this thing now a is the name of the container 10 is what the data is and uh, uh, it is a type of integer that's it so now we will go to how to retrieve data you just put a and uh, hit enter you will get the data okay now we will just go and uh, uh, do something in decimal decimal number okay decimal number is equal to they are known as float float numbers okay now i will take uh, uh, b is equal to 4.5 okay now b is the name of the container the container is a float okay container type is float and 4.5 is being stored is the data value so when you do b okay when you do b that time 4.5 is coming so for example when i do yeah hey guys i'm back can you guys can you guys actually see me now shit yaar <laughs> had had a had an internet outage and that's where like uh oh my god i don't know what happened here internet went off ekdam se office mein okay <laughs> sab aao wapas aao uh theek hai uh net was not working properly net went off and uh, are we are we guys back so please tell me here uh, am, I, am i am i clearly back yes or no so please tell me in the chat right now and uh, are you able to see me uh, okay chalo transition back into it okay so we have completed uh, we have completed uh, one thing that is like data type of like integer and the second data type that we have completed is uh, float okay the third data type uh, that we are, guys are gonna talk right now is like a string now what is a string explain me uh, explain me string right now in the chat okay what do you mean by string c is equal to uh, hey I am back okay so this is a string now when you do type c the name of this particular data type you will see str okay okay so now uh, uh, c is like uh, a sequence an ordered sequence of uh, character character data type so it is totally like character data type character data type that we have here okay and uh, c is like str that is string data type are we are we are, are you am i audible yes or no uh, whenever you are writing a string you need to write them in single quotes or double quote this is the basic rule okay uh, string is a container which contains words characters sentences i hope you guys are clear okay sorted I want all of you guys back here. 500 log dekh rahe the dard karke main 250 pe aa gaya. You will not have to face any kind of problem in next class. I'm so sorry. Uh, it is just that uh, I don't know why it got stuck all of a sudden 
and uh, i i didn't even realize that i am uh, uh, i am i am i am not even uh, i was not live kind of so uh, the point is all the people who are saying that they are not able to see me clearly or, or hear me clearly stop watching and uh, start it back okay stop watching and start it restart okay you it will be all fine now the only problem that it happened is like the the, the buffer was there a huge buffer and that's where the entire problem was created stop it and start again okay i hope everyone is back now str is also done after str i have got uh, a yes or a no type okay yes or a no data type again buffering why it is it's not buffering now it is all clear okay uh, the next data type is yes or no okay uh, now in this yes or no this data this is known as boolean okay boolean fine yes or no is known as boolean now in this yes or no all we can do is like name any variable name okay d is equal to something d is equal to true ठीक है d is equal to true now whenever you do uh, d it will directly print true now in this true you are seeing the color of this particular true whenever i am writing true it is it is what it is uh, blue color uh, for example i will take one more uh, e is equal to f a l s e false it is again in blue color okay so whenever i do e it is giving me uh, this thing okay uh, uh, fine uh, i hope every one of you are back and uh, we are uh, very clear about it i am so sorry about my internet connection uh, i didn't uh, <laughs> plan to happen like this okay so it happened uh, i don't know how but it's okay now we are back someone is asking me that is it a special character or is it something yes it's kind of a special character uh, reserved character like reserved keyword you can call it okay it's a reserved keyword which is stored in the particular uh, python language that if someone is writing capital t and r u e small then it is true it is a boolean value rather than uh, anything else okay the same goes for false so what kind of containers that we have seen today we have completed okay we have completed uh, boolean we have completed integer we have completed float uh, and string so these four things we have completed so let me share i mean there is nothing to share i will share it on wednesday once we have little bit more here so let's take an example of uh, two variables let's take input in that variable and then uh, and then perform certain operations okay uh, what do you mean by operations okay so uh, fine fine so before even going to that point let me give you an assignment uh, here only i'll write okay uh, uh, assignment assignment for today okay today's assignment is try working with few uh, try working with list dictionary t u p l e tuple and se uh, set data type in python okay clear are we clear this is your homework please try it out assignment 1 c okay clear done now uh, uh, let's just have a look at what do you mean by operate uh, like i have it here already integers floating string boolean then you have list dictionary set and tuples okay so these are the four things now post that you have uh, okay here there is kahoot and all right so tomorrow we will be tomorrow means wednesday uh, on day 2 day 
3 and day 4 there is going to be a Kahoot quiz uh, which you will be playing so that uh, uh, you can test how much you know the knowledge so uh, uh, that's that's one uh, part now operators what do you mean by operators what do you mean by operators there are two three types of operators in uh, uh, python or in any uh, any language one is comparison operator the other one is logical operator then arithmetic operators so there are literally uh, a list of operators that you have with you okay so these are start mm. so let's just go ahead and check out arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are like take two numbers and uh, 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 work it out my live video is buffering now also please tell me every one of you is my uh, live video still buffering kavya and uh, wait till wednesday your otp thing will be solved uh, and uh, attendance is just because of otp if otp is solved then uh, your attendance will also be solved uh, fine uh, okay let's just work it out one last thing then uh, i'll meet you guys on wednesday 6 30 okay so i'm sorry for uh, your experience being bad today uh, i am so sorry yaar. okay now coming back to it taking two data types so the data type number one so let me name it d1 d1 equal to uh, uh, d1 equal to 45 okay then d2 equal to 34 okay so taking d1 and d1 plus d2 oh shay, 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 i made a mistake uh, i i used a, a variable which was not existing so d1 plus d2 is equal to 79 now i will just do uh, d1 plus uh, uh, sorry multiplied by d2 that's where and that's where uh, uh, i am getting multiplication now i have d1 divided by d2 i have one more operations that is this divide operation then i have got d1 minus d2 this will go in minus but yep so i have oh what is d2 d2 is 34 haha ha, fine it will not go in minus okay how to run how to, you can run this particular cell using shift enter or command enter okay shift enter or control enter command enter that's what now uh, uh, one last thing that is there d1 percentage d2 okay d1 percentage d2 now what is d1 percentage d2 d1 percentage d2 means uh, what is percentage percentage is a modulus operator okay modulus operator now modulus operator is used whenever you want to find the remainder okay remainder of the particular thing that's where so i hope you have understood arithmetic operators arithmetic operators is like plus multiply divide minus modulus so these are arithmetic operators that's it that's all you need to know before you get into data analysis uh, one more assignment that i have for you here is uh, please learn about learn about learn about logical and compare I'm not able to see the screen and just stop typing it in the air okay uh, logical and comparison operators these this is your uh, learn and practice okay this much you do that's it itna karo this much you do and come let's meet on wednesday uh, tomorrow there is no class tomorrow i am out of town i am coming to chennai tomorrow for some work purpose 
so that's the reason uh, tomorrow i'll not be able to meet you guys uh, but on wednesday i'll be there back in your session okay clear sorted and these are the notes uh, where is that note? notes uh, uh, thing uh, it is there in your particular c it is listed in your uh, comment section pinned comment so we just have completed till here uh, although we have missed a lot of concepts which i would love to uh, cover but due to this uh, uh, due to this certain uh, tech issues my entire momentum has been lost but i'm so sorry i hope that you guys have learned something today why data analysis is very much important and what are the applications end of the day um, and uh, the process of data analysis is like you need to just store data retrieve that data and uh, perform certain operations on that data and show what is the summary of it that's it these are the four steps which are involved in data analysis nothing else apart from that okay and if we if time permits if this entire time permits then even we will play uh, with certain real time data by the end of this entire program okay so that's it nothing else thanks a lot uh, i'm currently based out of mumbai uh, tomorrow i'm not there that is the reason why your class is going to happen on uh, wednesday do make sure that every one of you are joining in uh, no absenteeism okay uh, it demotivates end of the day and uh, so just make sure that you all uh, be there okay notes link is there in the chat and take it from there uh, anything else i am uh, missing on i don't have a checklist right now uh, that my team gives generally uh, they are they they didn't give me uh, the checklist so i think i have covered uh, mark your attendance try one more time post the session uh, for the otp thing i think it should be resolved by then and uh, uh, mark your attendance uh see the notes complete assignment huh? this is the google collab link i'm giving it to you i'm sharing it because assignment questions are there certificate will be downloadable on uh, uh, certificate will be downloadable on uh, 20 not 20 what is this what is this uh, uh saturday which which day is saturday so please tell me which day is saturday I'll tell you when it will be available for you all. Okay, done. In the edit, uh, sorry, in the description also, I'm putting it. Uh, Google Collab. I have gave, provided you with the Google Collab link also. Okay, done. Chalo, bye. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a nice day and uh, love you all. Thanks a lot for even supporting me even after this came crashing down due to the tech glitch. I'll make sure this doesn't happen next time. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day. Next time I'll also get a uh, mic and everything. Bye. Take care. Bye.